myself, okay? Oh, man. Oh, oh. Saturday, August 5th, and I am entering the Strait of Georgia. I am on day four of a trip north to Desolation Sound and uh, the surrounding area. It's been an interesting start to the trip. Uh, in the uh, interior of BC, there are some major wildfires which have uh, created a lot of smoke and have just uh, put a layer of smoke over the entire region. So it kind of created a uh, interesting hazy overcast of, uh, of smoke in the area. My trip began on August 2nd when I made my way to Montague Harbor on Galliano Island, where I spent a few quiet but smoky days at anchor before meeting up with friends whom I've cruised Desolation Sound with multiple times. I'm cruising along with my friends on Briar Patch, a 37 Tollycraft, and Windwalker, a Catalina 30. Just a few minutes ago I entered the Strait of Georgia, um, hoping for an uneventful crossing. Right now the water is flat, calm, and the forecast shows that that's uh, what to be expected for the next couple days. pretty much right in the middle of uh, the Georgia Strait and it is flat. Uh, this is a body of water that can be like this or it can be downright dangerous uh, but right now this is a pretty good time to cross. Right now due to the smoky haze uh, where I'm at I can just barely make out land on either side of the strait but uh, there's hardly a soul out here uh, and it's pretty nice crossing. After an uneventful and very smooth crossing of the strait, we made our way to Pender Harbor, where we anchored in Garden Bay, a very convenient stop for groceries and other provisions. After a quiet night at anchor, we are up early the next morning to make our way further north. The flat water continued as we motored to Westview Harbor at Powell River pleasant little town on the BC Sunshine Coast. Originally, we only intended to make this a stop for fuel and water, but we elected to stay to take care of an issue with one of the boats before moving on. The Powell River has to be one of the friendliest places I've ever visited, so there are definitely worse places to be held over. Underway, we were treated to yet another day of flat water. While cruising through the Copeland Islands, we crossed paths with Sea Raven, owned by my friend Mark Bunzel. He's the publisher of the very popular Wagoner Cruising Guide.
uh, motoring towards Sarah Point, which is the, I guess you could say, the official entrance into uh, Desolation Sound. The rounding of Sarah Point on a clear day is a pretty amazing experience. But today, with the uh, cover of the smoke, it's not quite the same experience. Upon officially entering Desolation Sound, we dropped anchor in Everly Anchorage. And although the skies were still a bit smoky, we didn't let that stop the fun. Oh! <laughs> Got all of you! Yeah. Whoa! Look at these three! Watching. If you enjoyed my videos, hit that like button and subscribe for future content. Also, check out my website at www.mvjollymont.com.